across the glass. The sky hook sweet. Well, in transition is where he's looked at his best, but I tell you, his greatest athlete is what he's been. The contribution, the provision from the team. Beautiful pick and roll. Nice find. A hop of a United team. Turn that ball over. Great full court pressure by Sam Short. And Barlow's one, you, you have to make him put it to the floor. Catch and shoot, that's his strength. He's celebrating his 150th appearance for Melbourne United tonight. Shooting the three ball at a career high 56%. The 37 year old dropping the three ball at a career high. He catches the front of the rim and will jump away. Well, Adelaide needs to hope that Melbourne play does enough. And Humphreys reefs the ball away. We saw a class move from this man a moment ago. Josh Giddy. Is there more coming here? Barber sets his sights. Another miss. To me, the way that Melbourne United play, it, it, you, you need some backdoor options there. Everything's overplayed. Everything's challenged. Start picking them off with a few backdoor cuts that loosens up, and then all these passes don't become so pressured. Giddy catching a lot of the rim. Giddy comes down with the rebound. It's his fourth board to go with just the two points. So the NBL Cup, each team plays each of the others once. You score points for winning, you score points for each quarter you win. And the leader at the end will pocket 300 large, Andrew, is that and correct? Correct, and it goes all to the clubs. I might have heard, I thought someone might be doing the players, but the salary cap raises, that's not the case. Now Giddy gets enough of the ball. Gee, it's lost the turnover. A real tentative couple of minutes for Melbourne United. And now to get oh it back my to Oh my stop going to the back. Again? What about... The great hands. Hell of a catch. But the hands, hell of a pass, but the hands to catch that. Woo! Join while he's here. <laughs> You've only got him here for a couple more months. Couple Melbourne more might months. like to extend that out. It's it's three points to the win and then a point for each quarter. So if Adelaide win this quarter by enough, they can finish with a bag full of points. It's back in this game's getting to the point now. I know he's got the four fouls but no, oh, and just as I say that he makes his way to the bench because no point trying to wait for the last five. Two possession game. He's the injury player before Brandon Paul comes back or arrives I should say. Donald Sloan gone, Jeremy Kendall in, Brandon Paul coming for Adelaide. And gets called for the foul. Getting into the must-have possession for Adelaide 36ers. Need a basket on this one. Keep that pressure on Melbourne United. Giddy. Challenged by Adelaide. But they're out by six. Hobson. Finds McCarroll. You want him to pull the trigger on those big shots. Exactly. He's having a good game. Now Ditch. Just not there anywhere near quick enough. And that won't look good on the review film for Crocker. Just not the level. Player of the year, as every coach would want to say about their import guard. But he is terrific. He's just such an athlete. He's so strong. And it will be interesting to see him try and go at Josh Giddy. Big height difference. But Tim Sykes definitely has the athleticism edge. Here's Giddy. Two pointer just to get. Wants to get his NBA shot. Watched him at NBA Summer League a couple of years ago with the Denver Nuggets, playing alongside Jay Sean Tate. He, he wants to get back into that mix. As coming off that triple double, knows there'll be plenty of eyes on this one with Josh Giddy. Broke the game open. His energy was terrific, and the team just seemed to follow along with someone who I'm sure we'll see soon as he checks into the game now, Kyle Adnam. He was outstanding against the Bullets. I, I like the season high 20 field goal attempts from Creek in that one. When he's involved in the offense, the Phoenix tick the scoreboard over. Giddy goes all the from oh, Yanni Wetzel, the two big fellas combined. And ben Moore's activity, like the sales, has been big for the Phoenix. As Glidden gets a hand on it. That's what they can do. Josh Giddy finds everybody where they need. Daniel Johnson and him have had that kind of one-two punch, just like Giddy and Humphreys have, albeit a bit different. Humphreys getting towards the rim and DJ 
popping back for a three. Giddy sizing it up again. Humphreys is under the bucket. And flipped off nicely by Mick Little. Out. They didn't open with that coverage in this one, but they're going to it out of that huddle. Humphreys back to Giddy. Took the contact, couldn't finish. Three minutes left in the second. The seesawing contest. Johnson back to Giddy from outside. He's got range in for elite local talent to tick things off down there in Tassie. And Cole Adams certainly working his way to a big payday during the offseason with this kind of form. Cheerio to all the new members of the Jack Jumpers who are joining us next season. Giddy can't get that to go. So the and Adelaide local playing for Melbourne in his 38th NBL appearance. He starts for the first time. And you know what? Well deserved. The minutes that he's been given this team off the bench. He's earned that spot. He's been playing well off the bench. It's good on him. Career high 10 last week, earning that spot. You're right, Corey. Crocker. A poor shot from him. And a shout out to proud dad of Sam. This season on that half court set, pounded inside, and they've Looks like they've been caught up in playing in that high tempo style of play, and it's not paying just what he's been asset has been what's going on down this end of the floor. Here he is getting a result. Sam McDaniel defensively Ooh. can't finish. Giddy. Get that out of here. Got enough in front of the face of McDaniel. Yudai Pala hooks it across for White and says, We'll go inside, please. Uh, and versatility in your team. And that's where, and the reason why they've decided to bring in Brandon Paul, and he... Wait for it. He's very, very good. Right. Defense is going to be their calling card, and early signs aren't great in this one. Gillen back to Sunday, Detch, who likes his three-point look but leaves it short. And Hobson will bring Melbourne up the floor. How far have Adelaide come since round one when they were pounded by Melbourne, 89-65? Melbourne's biggest win of the season still. And Adelaide hope that Melbourne stay in this zone defense as Giddy shows why it's so excited. That's a 6 8 guy behind the back and nice soft finish at the rim. And still very much in this ballgame. With Melbourne go on to win, but Adelaide take this fourth quarter. In the NBL Cup, Melbourne get four points, Adelaide get three points. Not a bad result when you've trailed in the first or there are stones pass separated from their families. Spare a thought. Absolutely. And this one, despite the likely loss here, have they come away with two points through a couple of quarters they won? Sykes, Tarangi, Mitch Creek. Speaking of hot players, Mitch Creek, just as hot. As any of them. Hands it out to Clinton. Yeah, baby. Great exit off going. Sykes again to set it up. Floater from Tarangi. Rattles out. Humphreys. Sykes down the floor. But Tarangi, if he wants him. He wants him. And finally, Humphreys beats him for a rebound by Wetzel. Sykes. Bam. For seven, we're home. So now it's tough. It'll start winning away. Now if they're in this up to their eyeballs early. Mitch Creek. Cam Glidden ran into a roadblock in Humphreys. Gave it up. Wetzel, same roadblock. Glidden. Gave the three some consideration. And the tip. Back out. Hit. Well, this is the Adelaide 36 that we, we got to love early on when they're all playing like this and Cam Glidden lets one fly oh. off his right back, but that's what, well, I don't think he liked the celebration that Wetzel gave, saying that he was too small down the other end. That seems to be the NBL Cup celebration. A few players have brought that one out, but Isaac Humphrey's going straight back at him. Great spin move and finish. Tarangi! 
the whole package right now. Athletic, strong finishes at the rim, punishing the sagging defense, knocking it in from range. He's got 12 points and five assists. 36 is back in front. Mitch Creek takes it himself. And on the putback. High in the short career he's had thus far. We get a look at Isaac Humphreys. Still hasn't come back into the game since he picked up that third person. Scoreline looking pretty good for the 36ers right now, but a ton of time left in this. Mitch Creek, big offensive weapon. He's screaming at him every possession. Kendall for three. Tarangi. Adnam. Takes it himself, but again, can't finish in Giddy. Giddy pulls down a big rebound. Back into Humphreys. Creek. Glidden back to Sykes. Don't want to waste it. Creek again. Mitch Freak. <laughs> Put the Josh Giddy, the teen star, the Daniel Johnson. Mitch Creek. Big rebound inside two minutes. He needs to lead them. Takes him to the paint. Met Humphreys. 